Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, in this presentation, which is presentation number 12, um, we want to see how we can use other concepts, uh, other methods of differentiation. Okay. Right? Uh, I think when we are dealing with the differentiation, I only dealt with the, I think the, the power rule. Okay? We have got other methods of differentiating a function, such as the, the first principles, uh, chain rule, quotient rule, and the product rule. Okay? So in this presentation, we want to see how we can differentiate uh, a function using the, the first principles. So we have to say differentiate uh, differentiation from the first T principles. How can we find the derivative from the first T principles? Okay, now we are saying the process of finding the derivative of a function using a small change or a small increases or change h is called the, uh, the differentiation from the first principles or what we call the delta method. Okay? Now, what is this uh, delta method? We are saying if I have a function Maybe y, y, y is equal to f of o x, alright? How do I differentiate this one? I'm going to say uh, y prime. By y prime it means I'm getting the derivative. Okay. By y prime it means I'm getting the derivative. Okay, so I'll say y prime is equal to the limit as h tends to zero or approaches zero of f of a bracket h plus h plus h to close minus f of x over h. Alright now, whether I'm going to use this uh, approach or the power rule, the answer must be there the same. Okay? So now with me, I've got these two examples. I want us to see how we can find the gradient of the following functions at these points that we are, that we are being given. But there are times where you're just supposed to get the function. So we ask you to define the derivative of the following. Maybe y is equal to x squared plus 2 without giving you the point. It means there you just get the function. You just differentiate, then end there. But if I give you a point, it means I want you to give me the exact value of the, the gradient. Okay? So let me erase this part so that we see how we can use uh, the, the bolt. Or we can use this. Okay, so we have uh, y is equal to x squared plus 2. Alright, so now we want to apply this approach here. Alright, please take note this is a plane. So we are going to say f prime is equal to the limit as our h tends to 0 of, of this, alright? So now what it means here is that here where there is this, where there is x here, we do, we put this, we substitute. So we are going to say uh, x, right? This x has power 2, alright? So in this here, when is x we put in x plus c h then to the power 2. So this part is taking the part of x. Check here. This is f, like f of x, but we have f of that. So, so this part has been taken by x plus h. So when is x here, you put that. Okay? Then plus 2. Over here there's plus 2. Plus 2. Alright? Then we are saying minus, <coughs> minus f of x, f of x is y here, by y I mean f of x, so it's like we have f of x is equal to x squared plus what, 2. So after doing the substitution, you are going to say minus the function, the whole function here. I hope that is clear. After doing the substitution here, you are going to say minus the whole function, and what is my function? x squared plus c, 2. That's what we are going to use here. So we say minus x squared plus what? 2. Here everything we divide by what? 
by h. Alright? So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Alright, now, you need to multiply this. Uh, x plus h squared. Uh, it is x plus h, then x plus what? h. Alright? So, this is the x squared plus, when you multiply that, you have got xh plus, this is xh plus, plus h squared. So, the answer of the x squared plus 2xh plus c h squared. So, when you expand, you have that. Alright? <coughs> okay, so now we are going to have, so here we we'll say x squared plus 2xh. Uh, plus h squared, there is a 2 here, so plus 2 minus here because you distribute x squared minus what? 2. Everything here we have to divide by, by h. Okay, I hope that is okay. We divide everything by h. Now at this point, <coughs> you check if I do you can things. Alright? Um, let's take it back we're able to count something. Alright? So when you look at um, positive 2 and negative 2, these will cancel. Alright? Then x squared, because x squared minus x squared, they will cancel as well. So you cancel out this and the, that. Alright? So what are we remaining with? We are saying the limit as h is approaching to 0. We'll remain with here we we'll have 2xh plus h squared. Everything here should be divided by what? h. Alright? Now, you can see that here we have a common factor on top. So you factorize. So you're going to say the limit as h is approaching 0 of h, open bracket, because here there is 2xh and x squared. So what is common there is h. Alright, so we are going to have 2x plus h. Alright? Everything divided by what? By h. <coughs> okay. Okay, can you bring here? So here we are going to have the limit. As h approaches the zero, so this and this will divide because there's a multiplication sign. So h and h will cancel or will divide. So you have got 2xc plus what? h. But we are saying, uh, but h is approaching what? Zero. So once h is approaching zero, you may not really go to zero. There are no positives here, but we are saying we are getting closer and closer to zero. So what are we going to have? We are going to say f prime of x now will be equal to 2x plus zero. So here where is h now you put zero. Alright? So you have got that. So this will mean that you have got f prime of x is equal to what? 2x. That is our gradient. At that point, that is the gradient function. So now, when you want to find the actual value here, x was, um, was negative 1. Right? So we have f of negative 1 is equal to 2. You put negative 1 here and the answer is negative 2. Right? But in most cases, they'll say find the gradient function. Then you have to just end here. Or find the derivative without you getting the, the point. I hope that is clear. Okay, so make sure that you substitute this where, uh, where there is x. Alright? Then minus the whole function. Okay. Alright, so let's try to do the second one. Alright, so we are going to say f prime of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of 2 open bracket. So here when there is x, we are going to put this. Alright? 
So we have h plus x plus h to the power 2 minus here is 3, so we put the 3. Then minus this function, minus f of x, which is this, the whole lot of this. So I'll say open bracket, alright? Uh, 2x squared uh, minus 3. Okay. So here we say the limb or limit as h tends to 0. We have two open brackets now. When you work out this one, we already got this one. So we have x squared, x squared plus 2xh plus x squared, right? From the first example. Minus 3. Okay. Minus 2x squared plus 6, uh, sorry, 3. Uh, so here we have 4 plus 3. So this we divide everything by h. Then we are saying the limit as h is tends to 0 is we distribute here. Alright? So we have 2x squared plus 4xh plus this by that we have got 2h squared minus 3 minus 2x squared plus 3. Okay? Then we divide everything by h. So as the case was in the question 1, so say the limit as h tends to 0 is equal to 1. So we can try to see if at all we can cancel things. Alright? So here, uh, if you look at 2x squared, alright? And negative 2x squared, they'll cancel. Okay? Then negative 3 here and these, they'll cancel. Okay? So what are we remaining with? We remain with uh, 4xh plus. 2h squared over h. If you want now, you can say, since I have got 4xh plus 2h squared, you can check the fact that there's a common factor direct here. So, okay, the common factor there is h. So, I'll say h, open bracket, 4x plus 2h, right? Everything here should be divided by what? h. Okay? I think I can still proceed from here. So we are saying the limb, as h is approaching 0, will be 4x plus 2h. But h is approaching what? 0. This simply means that the f prime, that is the derivative one. Alright? So the derivative of that will be equal to... Um, 4x plus 2, here we put a 0, we put a 0, and what do we get? We get 4x, but remember we said um, uh, x is e is what? 2, okay? Let I just to finish it here. So x is 2, so this will mean that if we put a 2 here, we we'll have 4 and a 2 here. We get what? 8. This is our gradient. Right? But if we are told to find the gradient function, the gradient function uh, would be this 4x as our answer. Alright? I hope you, uh, this presentation has really helped you to understand what first principles is all about. Thanks so much, but I'm going to give you some questions that you can try.